Hi, Matt and Amy here from Wex Photographic, and today we're going to be having a look at what you can do with one of our most popular DSLRs, the Canon EOS 700D. But before we do any shooting, I'm going to take a quick look at some of the camera's main features. The sensor is perhaps the most crucial part of a digital camera, and the one inside the 700D gives you lots of flexibility. It shoots at 18 megapixels as standard, which is more than enough for enlargements, but it also means that if you want to crop an image later on, you can still display or print at reasonable sizes. The camera sensitivity range is just as flexible, going all the way up to ISO 6400, or an equivalent of 12800 if you really need it. This makes the camera super sensitive in low light and means you don't necessarily need to use a tripod when there might not be enough light. Something else which helps here is the image stabilisation system on the lens, which is particularly useful at longer focal lengths to prevent camera shake. Speaking of lenses, the 700D is compatible with Canon's complete range of EF and EFS lenses, which covers everything from fisheye and macro all the way up to really powerful telephoto lenses. So whatever you want to shoot, there's bound to be a lens suitable for it. Clearly, the better that you know your camera and what it's capable of, the better the images that you stand to take. Now, the manual that comes with the camera is pretty comprehensive, but you can also activate the camera's guide mode to learn about what everything does as you shoot. Just turn this on in the menu, and once you come to a specific setting, such as focus, drive mode, or metering, the camera will explain exactly what it does. This also works when you're using the camera's live view function and when you're recording high definition movies. This is great when you want to learn about what each setting does and what control you've got over each option, but if you've just started out and you want to get a certain look without messing around with apertures, white balance or anything else, you can use the camera's creative auto mode to do just that. The creative auto mode allows you to change these kinds of settings quickly and easily. Instead of using different apertures, for example, you can just tell the camera whether you want the background to be more or less blurred by moving the marker in either direction. So that saves you some time when you're shooting, but you can also save yourself some editing time by using one of the camera's creative filters. You can view these as you shoot or apply them to images you've already captured, helping you to get a range of looks without any software. And when you want to take full control over your images, you can select all the common exposure options such as shutter priority, aperture priority and manual from the mode dial. There are a few neat features on the 700D for still live shooting, but probably the most useful is the screen on the back which has a high resolution to help you get a clear view of the scene. You can also zoom into the preview up to 10 times to make sure that the focus is spot on. Something else that's really useful is that the screen is sensitive to touch, so you can simply tap the area on the screen where you want to focus. This is great as it saves you from having to use the viewfinder to set the autofocus point. What's even more useful is that you can set the camera to take the image as soon as it's focused on the subject. All you need to do is press this button in the corner and it will focus and expose in one go. The screen can also be pulled away from the body and rotated around an angle. That's really useful when you're working with a tripod and you need to move the camera to a slightly awkward position to get the shot you need. But it's also great when shooting from ground level or hip level or even above crowds. While Amy's looking at a still life scene, I've come here to try the camera out against a subject that's moving very quickly. The camera's got a 9-point AF system, with each point being cross-type. That means that there's two sensors for each point, and it's particularly useful when there's not a great deal of light or against low-contrast subjects. If you want to track a subject and you're using the viewfinder, you can quickly switch to the AI servo modes, which will follow the subject as it moves around the scene. You can even combine this with the camera's 5 frames per second burst mode, which is really useful when you need to be shooting images continuously. If you've got Live View enabled, you can simply select the tracking option and key the subject that you want to be tracked on the screen. You don't even have to fire the shutter if you don't want to, as the camera will do it all for you once it's found focus. For more information on the Canon EOS 700D, head over to wexphotographic.com. And for more tips and advice, visit us on Twitter, Facebook or Google+, or check out wexphotographic.com forward slash blog.